Hello everyone, Father Alan Hoffa here, pastor of Holy Guardian Angels Parish in Reading. So happy to be with you. Uh, again, the pastor here, but I also am blessed to serve as the chair of the Diocese of Allentown Lumen Christi Commission. The fourth week of Advent is so small this week, it's literally a couple of hours, and then hey, Christmas Eve. So I've been asked to share with you a couple thoughts on some helpful things for a successful Christmas season. The first is make sure you water your Christmas tree. But one of the things that drives me crazy is the fact that on the day after Christmas, the 26th, people have their Christmas trees. If they have a natural one, it's out on the front curb ready for the trash people to come and pick it up. But there's also another connection to that about watering your Christmas tree. It's about making sure that you're taking care and nourishing yourself to make sure that during this Christmas season that's about to be upon us, that you're taking time to let the grace of God come upon you because Christmas tree can't survive without water and you and I, we can't survive without God's grace, at least to be the best version of ourselves possible. So first thing, make sure that you water your Christmas tree. Number two, take a look at your nativity. Okay, the nativity is such a beautiful scene. Take a deep look into the different people that are there in the nativity scene. S associate yourself with these different people. Associate yourself with the shepherds. When we sometimes are feeling a poverty of some nature of our lives and yet God comes to us and he wants to abide with us and lead us to joy. Think about the kings. We all have our gifts to bring. What gifts are we offering over to the Lord? Think about the gift of the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about the beauty of the family, the constitution of the family, and how God wants to bless our family so that we can be the radiant light of Jesus through family life. The last thing is this, make sure that you do a good job wrapping your Christmas presents. Get some good wrapping paper. For you and I, sometimes we can get ourselves caught up in the people that we encounter, in the things in the church that we encounter, that it's about the trappings, it's about the glitz and the glam, and it's not about the heart. And when we put our heart into it, it's not about necessarily how the package looks, but what's underlying the package that we give as the gift. And the same thing happens for you and for, for me. Uh, we may have times where we encounter people and we know ourselves even sometimes we're maybe not dressed up or whatever, but it doesn't mean that we can't extend the love of Jesus Christ, the love of the incarnate Son of God to someone else. It doesn't, it's not dependent on how we're dressed or on the perfect words, because God gives us the words of what we are to say. And so when it comes to our Christmas gifts, uh, we always want to put the effort into extending love through the intention of what we give. And that is the true wrapping that is enkindled in, in, in and put around that gift that we're able to share with someone else. So I pray that you have a wonderful Christmas season. I pray that it's been a beneficial Advent, but I encourage you to one, make sure that you're nourishing and watering your life with the grace of God making sure that all of those people that surrounded the incarnation of Jesus are models for you of faith and of devotion and a true help. And finally, make sure that as we give gifts at Christmas, the more important thing is the gift of ourselves. Don't judge the book by its cover, but more importantly, put the intentionality into the gift of hearts giving to hearts. And that, my friends, I think makes for a beautiful, beautiful Christmas. God bless you.